Hey everybody, I'm John McLarnon, the pastor at Christ Church Camden, and I'm sitting with Mike Sains, pastor of the Harbor Worship Center, and uh, we just wanted to come to you today and say that uh, we're praying for you, we're praying for our community. We know that it's interesting times for everybody. It's uh, new routines, new rhythms, all that kind of thing, and so uh, as you're getting adjusted, uh, church is getting adjusted too, and so sure. everything's, not, everything's changing, but we just, we want to say that we're trusting in God who doesn't change. Amen. So I want you to hold on to that too today. Um, Mike and I have been talking that we think it's um, a perfect time for a unified message that um, we just want to encourage you and challenge you to be people who love and serve our community right now, to be good neighbors. And the interesting thing is, is that both of our churches have actually taught through this passage this last year that um, you guys are probably familiar with called the Good Samaritan. Amen. And, yeah. What a tremendous passage when uh, Jesus was talking and someone asked him, you know, what, what a good neighbor looked like. And Jesus told this story of a man who fell among thieves and he was robbed and beaten and left for dead. And along came a priest and he went on one side of the road. A few hours later, a Levite on the other side of the road. Sometime later, a good Samaritan stopped by. Now, the Samaritans were despised people, but he, he stopped by and he got off of his animal. Uh, he poured his wine, his oil, and he walked while he put the sick man on his donkey, took him to the inn and paid the fare and said, hey, if he owes anything more, I'll take care of it. And so if there's ever been a time when the church, and I'm speaking of the people, not the building, when the church needs to be in the community, it's right now. We are the hands and the feet of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think yeah. we come together uh, as that good Samaritan and do uh, what God's called us to do. Right. I love the way Jesus ended that story and he said, which one of these guys was the neighbor? Yes. And they said, well, well, that guy who got off his donkey and helped. And I love the conclusion Jesus says, you go and do likewise. Right. And so uh, I just love that. I think right now more than ever, um, people need good neighbors. Amen. And we need people who simply care about the people that we live close to. And so uh, I, I agree 100% that the church may be out of the building, but wherever there are followers of Jesus, the church still exists. And so we're, we're, we're dotting our community yes. with, with the church right now. And Absolutely. so um, there's a number of good organizations in our community who are serving and doing different things. We want to we wanna challenge you to simply be the church where you live. And we got a simple resource. I don't know if you want to walk us through that right there that, that people can use. Yeah, it's a card uh, right here. It just simply says, how can I help? And uh, we have a couple of thousand of these go into print today. And uh, they're going to be available on Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Thursday yep. and Friday yep. at Christ Church and at the Harbor. So it doesn't matter what church you go to. You can just come to their parking lot or our parking lot from 12 mm -hmm. to 1 Thursday or Friday. And you can pick up this card or you can print your own. Mm -hmm. But it just simply says, my name is, and, you know, my phone number is this, and I live here. And you can just check the box of what you're willing to do. Uh, you know, pick up some groceries, walk the dog, uh, help in an emergency, uh, check in on you by phone. And then there's a box, too, if there's something that we didn't think about, you can just fill that out. And we'll collect these cards. And, uh, hey, you can be that neighbor in the hands and feet of Jesus right where you are. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, actually allowed to stick this in someone's mailbox right now. You can maybe do that, or you can stick it on their door. Um, you may get to the point where you have to hold it up to the window and they can read it, but I don't know where we're going to be in the next few days or weeks. Um, but yeah, you can, you can print that. You can pick it up at either place, uh, Thursday or Friday. And so, um, man, I, I just want to say one more time that you guys can do this. Yes. Like you can be the church where you live because nobody knows your neighbors better or loves your neighbors better than you do. So you can be the church in your neighborhood. You can be the yeah. church on your street. You can be the church in your cul-de-sac. You can be the church literally for the people who live next door to you. And so I know that we agree on this, that yeah. we believe that if we serve our community and love our community well, yeah. it may open up the door for people That's right. to actually call on God. There's never been a greater time for you uh, to get involved in doing evangelism and ministry right now. It's so important, and everybody can do it, not just ministers or, or staff people, but everybody. That's the call for everybody to distribute uh, throughout your neighborhood, and everybody can be his hands and his feet.
So let's be the church. Let's love our neighbors well. And uh, who knows what God might want to do at this time. What looks like maybe a discouraging time could be a really great opportunity. We're going to be better on the other side. Yeah, absolutely. We love you guys. We love our community. Amen. God bless you.